Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to uh, run our test script in the Circle CI pipeline. It's going to be very easy. So we have to do um, four steps. So the first one is like we have to create a, a configuration file config.yaml, uh, which will be understood, which will be understood. That will be understood by the Circle CI. And second step, we have to do some changes in the playwright config file. I will uh, tell you that in detail. And then in package.json, and of course, we have to set the project in the circle CI. So let's get started. It's going to be very easy. So let's go to our um, folder, the project folder. And here, first step, we have to create this dot uh, circle CI. Okay. Make sure you are going to give the correct spelling okay so all in lower case and it starts with a dot dot circle ci and within that we have this config dot yaml file okay so within the config dot yaml file we are going to use the um, docker so if i go to the documentation of playwright and if i go to this integration here you can see like we have this docker right so basically we have to use this docker image so the latest version is 1.27.1 and let's copy this and let me change over here okay so here we are using the version 2.1 which is given by the circle ci and then we have like jobs jobs in the sense like it is similar to task in azure uh, pipeline okay then we have something like run test um, and within the run test uh, we are saying like we want to execute with the help of docker and the images this one okay and then we have few of those steps so the first one is checkout checkout in the sense like we have to download the code from the github and then we have to do the uh, certain actions right so for that uh, we have to say like checkout and then we have this command called run uh, within the run we have like name name is optional yeah this is like just to let us know like down download dependency and the command is going to be npm ci ca in the sense like uh, clean and install okay and then again we have another run step which is nothing but to run the test so here we are saying like npm run test that means it's going to execute all the tests that we are going to specify in the config file and then here we have something like store test results so basically uh, we want to see the reports right how many tests pass and how many tests fail so for that we are going to use this xml uh, unfortunately we cannot use the json or any other format uh, i think we have html format uh, as well but i will talk about that maybe in some another detail in some another video today we are going to focus on this result.xml and which is pretty uh, good i believe okay and then we have to invoke the jobs via the workflow workflow is nothing but like just uh, beginning with some test okay so here we have like run test workflow and jobs what are the jobs so we can have like multiple jobs within the config file so here like uh, i'm saying like run dash test so if you remember here we have used this run dot test right run dash test so this is like your uh, custom just to perform all these actions we are giving some name to it which is uh we are calling it here that's it very simple so i'll just uh, leave this in my github you can just copy and paste and it's a yaml file so make sure you are going to copy and use it properly because if you miss any indentation it will not work okay so that's it the first step is done second step is basically we have to go to our configuration file playwright config and here we are going to do some changes okay so here we are saying like test directory which is not required but good to have and here we have the test match like what are the test case we are going to execute so in my case i have like three uh test as of now three test uh files and within that i have like around uh total 10 test okay and timeout you can configure as per your project for this application i think 30 seconds is pretty good okay and expect uh, timeout by default is zero i guess uh yeah, default is 5000 milliseconds so we have the same default action that means even if you remove this that should work fine okay and we are not going to run everything in parallel i am going to follow the sequential order okay so first thing we have to change this reporter um so in the reporter basically we want to execute uh we want to get the report in the um xml format okay but 
when we run the test in the uh, local machine that is like our system i want to see the json as well as in the html format okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this um, uh, ternary operator okay so here i'm going to select process dot environment dot ca so if i if we are going to run in the circle ci so ci in the sense like uh, not only circles here like any of the uh, cloud platform okay so if it's going to be like your uh, circle ci then i can say like i want to do certain things or else i will do certain certain things okay that means when i'm going to run this in my pipeline uh, it will do it will take this value if not it will take this value okay so in local i want to execute the uh, report json as well as html okay but in pipeline i want to get only the um what do you call that xml format okay so here i'm going to say like i want to get the uh, j unit which will give us in the uh, xml format okay and here i'm going to say like output file and it's going to be like my result dot xml file okay so if you go to your config file here you can see like we have like results dot xml so just copy and give the same or else or else you will end up with an like uh, no such file exception okay so that's it similarly uh, we want to run our test in the headless in pipeline so here i'm going to say like process dot env dot ci if it's ci i will probably run n headless that is true true means it will not uh, it will run in headless that means no ui false means it will run in headful okay and then for videos and um, trace right so of course we are not generating the html report and also we cannot see the screenshot video or trace in the pipeline so here also i'm going to do the same thing like uh, if it's local machine probably i will just use it or else i will not use it okay yeah that's it so these are the changes and of course you can play with the changes as per your requirement but make sure you are going to run in headless mode uh headless mode uh head mode doesn't support in the circle ci it support but we have to install something else uh, yeah anyways we cannot see the execution so it doesn't make sense to run in headful mode okay now coming back to this package that package.json which is our third step so here already i have configured so here we can select test uh, which is basically like npm npx playwright test okay so there are uh, even though we are using the docker file still we have to do the installation because uh, of course the docker file will always contain the uh, node.js and playwright also i believe but still like if you want to install any other dependency then of course we have to use the npm ci that already we have done this but this clean install will only do the installation to get the playwright library we know that we have to use something like uh, npx playwright install right so what i'm going to do is like here we have an option called post install so here i can say like npx playwright install that means uh, when i say npm um, ci so it will do the installation and when once the installation done it will go to the post install where it will say like npx playwright install okay then we, of course we will call this uh, test from here which will invoke our test okay that's it we are done with the three steps now let's go to the fourth step so first of all i'm going to do all the commits here uh, let's say like um, and of course i'm using my uh, master branch so like whatever the branch you want to execute you can uh, configure that one okay now let's go to the uh, circleci.com so first we have to go to this go to application and you have to log in so i'm using the free, free tire uh, if your office or your project have like circleci paid version then yeah same step mostly okay i'm going to log in with the github you can use like email or bitbucket and here i'm going to select my organization which is my default account okay now here we have like playwright book cart application that is what uh, my github repository name so if i go to the repository and this is the one and within this we have like circle ci and within this we have this config which we committed a minute ago okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this setup a project and 
by default it will go and check for this file okay so that is the reason we created the first uh, that file okay now it says like found on this branch if you go to other branch the file might not be there so make sure you are going to share this file across your branches okay i'm just going to click on this setup project and that's it it's already started running so if you want to see the uh, status just click on this running and click on this run test so run test is what run test is basically the uh, config file in the config file we have configured this run test right so here it says like run test workflow and the job is run test so that is what we are getting you can change the name as per your requirement okay now if i click on that you can see like uh, basically it says the set environment and in this you can find a detail like um, uh, okay it's not there i believe preparing environment variables and here you can see like ci true okay so that is what we are using here in the configuration file like process dot environment dot ci okay um yeah so check out in the sense like it will just go and check out the uh, pull the latest code from the specified branch and here we have like run a uh, download dependency okay so one step is uh, download dependencies which is this one so uh, it will just call the npm ci so here you can select npm ci and uh, pretty much done okay now here you can see like it says like run test and run test using one worker because of course we are using one worker that means it will run in uh, sequential um let's go to this one and here you can get some details like uh, this is my um, github repository name and this is the workflow and we are running from the master and two minute ago it started the duration and uh, some actions okay you can just play with this uh, let me show you the report as well since it is passed it's going to pass all my tests are going to pass so i think there won't be uh, much report but we'll just fail intentionally and we'll check that one okay let me go to any test and let's fail something so uh, let me make this like login one so it should um fail yeah i want to show you one more thing as well so whenever we do the commit basically it will start running okay uh, we can cancel that okay so like uh, if you do check out to another branch or if you do commit and check out then your pipeline will execute start each and every time which i really don't want um, so you can configure okay and hopefully we got the failed okay something got wrong yeah so here you can see like we got the test uh, results so one is like add a book book to the card at it um we got some failure like mat roll option to be visible but it is not visible which is fine uh, we got it and register user also like uh, waiting for timeout something something wrong expected was login but we received to be register okay cool same thing for firefox so here you can select this is my firefox and this is my chromium and this is also my chromium and this test passed in chromium but not a failed in chromium but passed in firefox and this guy failed in both the browser which is fine okay and yes uh, i will look into the failures later but this is how we have to see the failures if there is any failure this is how you can go and this is the test report i was talking about like uh, here this results dot xml file okay so when we say like store test result results basically it will store all your tests like not only this run all your runs and if you go to this insight it will give you a dashboard kind of thing like how many tests you have executed like on a particular branch uh, for a particular period of time okay so it's very useful like um, kind of your dashboard okay so let's go to the uh, project one more time so a few things i want to um, tell you so if i go to this organization settings 
uh, sorry not organization we have to go within the project settings i guess yeah if you go to this project settings here um, we have two things like if you go to the trigger option so basically if you want to execute your test day by day you can do this just a simple step add click on this add trigger and i will say like uh, weekly build something like that just a description and here we have to do the schedule so i'm going to select like schedule and repeat weekly and i want to execute on all the weekdays so monday to friday and plus uh all the month and here you can select that time utc yeah it should be like uh 1 30 a.m so i'm going to select like one o'clock let it be like one o'clock okay so one o'clock in the sense like it is a UC, utc so uh, you can just convert and you can see that now what we are going to do we are going to select like uh, i repeat hardly or something like that but still we have given the time so which is uh, you can just ignore this one or else you can just click like once per hour not execute per hour but it will run based on the time only okay and uh, yeah this seems like mandatory so i'll just click on this one yeah and here you have to go to your branch like in my case it's master and if you have any parameters you can add that uh, probably we'll discuss that in some another video okay and then we have like attribution so schedule actor uh, based on the system or based on the user so i will go with the scheduling system so that it will run for all the users okay so click on save trigger and that's it we are done so you can see the details here it will run uh, weekly okay and then if you go to this advance here um, not advance i guess yeah so if you go to this advanced and then we have a section called only build pull request that means whenever we create a pr uh, if the pr is created or if the pr is uh, merged to the master then only it should execute or else what will happen in the sense like for example uh, now uh, let's say that uh, we have done one changes right what is the changes here we are trying to fail this explicitly but anyways it's getting failed only so let's uh, it will take time to fix so i'll just comment this now okay so let's say that okay so i'm going to do the commit and i'm going to push my code as soon as the code is pushed if you go to your circle ci and here you can say like it's basically started okay so like not only for the push if you do check out to another branch then also it will get execute which is unnecessary i believe okay so you can just go to the uh, project settings go to the advanced tab and here you can see like uh, mark this one so if there is any pr created then only it will execute or else it won't execute okay so that's it very easy thing i hope you understood how to run the test how to configure and also how to see the reports if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply uh, that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon bye bye take care